style of Big Joe, the games of death. We are in the final hours and your first finalist is the mastermind behind it all, the reigning rise champion and as some would say, one of the hardest motherfuckers on the planet. The only man that would disagree is about to walk into Sheep Street. And we will experience a hardcore wet dream match. Big Joe is your first finalist. Can I please have the second finalist? Gosh, my light is dying. You could have hoped to see this has got to be at the top. Big Joe and Casanova Valentine. They've been trading barbs online. Tonight they will trade barbed wire on Sheep Street. It is the US and the UK. It is for the Games of Death title and it's for the RISE Heavyweight Championship. of an evening for Casanova Valentine made it all the way to the finals became the Rise Hardcore Champion lost that belt less than half an hour ago to Big Lou Nixon he's got to put that behind it because right now he is in there with a man he has been desperate to break apart since he swam from the UK to New York he did it, it's on Facebook, it must be true. It is the final that we all wanted. It is Casanova Valentine versus Big Fucking Joe. One of these men is going to leave tonight not just the winner of the games of death but they're going to leave as the rise heavyweight champion the rise faithful are rapid chomping at the bit to see these two finally in a rise ring and here we go whoa Quick start by Casanova Valentine. Low blow and a DDT. And we are straight back to the light show. Both of these men have fought through wars to get here tonight. Big Joe has turned back the challenge. to the back of Big Joe. For Big Joe, he's turned back the challenge of Danny Darko and European hardcore legend Iceman. Head 
but through light tubes. And this is less than two minutes into our main event. Unbelievable. Casanova wrapping himself in barbed wire. Turning himself into a weapon. When you see what Casanova Valentine's willing to do to himself, what does that say about what he's willing to do to Big Joe? Immediately off the bat, it's Casanova Valentine's match. That low blow and that DDT started things off perfectly for the hardcore hipster heartthrob. Oh, and light tubes on the bare back of Big Joe. Casanova. That is like a grenade on your back. And now driving the light tubes into the back of Big Joe. in our main event but we expected nothing less from the games of death light tubes now in the hand of Casanova Valentine and if he hits this we can say goodbye to any future little Joes of the dynasty exactly what they say Casanova Valentine on a sick and twisted tear this is the match that both men wanted Big Joe has been desperate to get a piece of Casanova Valentine and I can't I can't believe I'm finding myself saying this but I'm wondering whether Big Joe has bitten off more than he can chew in all my years of calling rise Oh my God, the Peñata. The Peñata's back. And the Peñata. Peñata off the back of Casanova Valentine. Pinata, one like, one prayer. <laughs> Big Joe and Casanova Valentine taking the fight into the rise faithful. We saw Big Joe briefly make a comeback and it's just not enough, Casanova Valentine. Oh. oh, and Casanova Valentine with a concealed weapon. Is that a staple gun? Valentine with a staple gun. And he's got a Games of Death poster. Jawbreaker by Big Joe. Oh, and now Big Joe, the proprietor of the stapler. 
Five pound on the merch table. Good God! Big Joe stapling the head of Casanova Valentine. Oh, and a mini guitar off the back of Casanova. Arguably the only guitar that ever drew a dime. And the Rise faithful coming alive for Big Joe, the Rise champion, finally beginning to rise in this match. Driving light tubes into the face of Casanova. And Big Joe with a, with a hat, a member of the Rise faithful. This is Big Joe and his, arguably his most creative. Got a bag of pins. He's got the, the hat of one of the Rise faithful. And he's got bad intentions. Right, a piñata filled with pins into the groin of Casanova Valentine. This is not what Big Daddy and Giant Haystacks had in mind. And there, the crucifix across the stomach and now across the back. And lodged into the back of Casanova Valentine. Big Joe has been utterly devastating throughout this entire game of death. And it looks like he saved the best for last. He really, really has saved the best for last. Or maybe the worst, the Weed Whackers back! And the Weed Whackers on! And Casanova Valentine with a home base special right in the heart! Yuranagi! A defiant middle finger on the end of the arm with the shoulder up from Casanova Valentine! Oh, now a saw across the face, slicing open Casanova. Casanova's got to get on a plane. He's going to look nothing like his passport picture at the end of this. And Joe with that table comprised of light tubes and bad intentions. Double underhook suplex through the light tubes. No, Casanova breaks it up. The claw. That patented claw choke slam. That claw slam from Casanova. And Big Joe breaking it with breaking elbows. Double underhook by Big Joe. Casanova Valentine going nowhere. Spit in the face. Claude Slam. Jesus Christ. And Casanova Valentine has done it. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match and 
On his first night in the UK, Casanova Valentine has walked into Sheaf Street, won the games of death, and is your new Rise World Heavyweight Champion. Taken down like that in my life. Casanova Valentine in one night. He won and lost the hardcore championship. He defeated Michael Caden and he has just defeated Big Joe and become the new Rise World Heavyweight Champion! Unbelievable scenes here on Sheaf Street where we have seen a massacre on Sheaf Street! Somehow Somehow, he's back on his feet. It's not the night that Pizzo had in mind, but it was one hell of a performance. There will be another day for that man there, Big Fucking Joe. What we can tell you is, we have a new Rise World Heavyweight Champion! And you have just experienced the games of death here at Rise!